All right, uh, good morning and welcome back to our channel, Princess Sit. We want to appreciate God for bringing us to the dawn of another day. And today is the third, the third of uh, October 2025. And we are live this morning again on the current state of uh, disbursement and a clear indication of the path that we are here to tread. Now, the issue of uh, grand disbursement uh, within this country has actually remained the central concern for a lot of people who have been waiting for a long time. Uh, expectations have been so high, intensive, and also uh, different voices have been speaking at intervals to give, to give uh, clarity, precision, and also direction. Uh, then assurances also are not out of place here. And to understand the current state of things, it's necessary to highlight the roles and the statements of uh, some of the major figures who are involved within this organ uh, for some time right now. We have the likes of Pastor Donald Obasi Okore, Ngozi Israel, Zita Onwosu, Apostle Ken, uh lady rich and um, and some other ones reverend libo like that you know so alongside this the the pioneer disbursement and the broader timeline of disbursement must also be put into account now um i'm going to give you some of the current details or updates coming from these particular figures in time for us to remind ourselves of the current state where we are at a point like this now a recent uh, statement of pastor donald uh, he has actually remained one of the consistent voices addressing the disbursement matter in this ecosystem and his um, recent statement stressed that um, disbursement is not a scam and that uh, there is a structured process that is uh, supposed to be followed and according to him the delays are not caused by lack of funds but by internal processes uh, and uh, the need for proper clearance to avoid mistakes that uh, could affect beneficiaries in the long run he also made it clear that uh, the project is intact and um, no one should doubt its reality most importantly is between both of them both pioneer and uaag but in recent times he has been so fluent on the pioneer disbursement he made it clear that uh, the project is actually intact and no one should doubt the efficacy of the the project however he equally uh, warned against people spreading false dates and uh, predictions that are not officially confirmed and in summary uh, pastor donald's voice at this stage is one of uh, reassurance that the disbursement is going to happen but it is tied to uh, due processes that cannot be bypassed and uh, that, that's what we can possibly get from his words in recent times then uh, from Ngozi Israel um, Ngozi Israel has been one of the visible uh, figures uh, defending the credibility of the disbursement project in this organ she has also continued to remind the people that while the waiting period is tough the foundation of the grant is actually solid her own position uh, remains that uh, what is happening is not failure but delay and that uh, it is better for the process to be slow and accurate than for it to be rushed and damaged. Uh, she also uh, pointed out that uh, the financial clearances have been finalized before money, I mean, I mean ought uh, to be finalized, which is normal before the fund can start going out. And from our update, one thing is clear. Uh, she said that um, she will soon come out and uh, when you, you get to hear a voice that there is a song she's going to project to the community by the time everything is uh, finally concluded and by then you would know the name of her boss <laughs> that the name of her boss who she has been working with will be finalized but in recent times a woman came out that talked about the real boss that has to do with the same boss that she is also working with so there's nothing new about the boss that all of them are working in synergy and uh, they have the same correlation and so that everything is real and it talks about the imf uh, coming into the country and all that you know 
and then so because uh, of the team that is handling the funds is also ensuring that every necessary uh, check has to be completed before information uh, really about the disbursement timeline is spilled out then on apostle ken uh, apostle ken has been uh, one of a spiritual and also central figure in this whole grant matter uh, his messages are often coded so we know but um, they always point to uh, closeness of disbursement to God's timing also to faith and hope and uh, recently his uh, declaration has been that uh, God is about to conclude the process within days the process he has started after the trumpeting exercise and that the next time his voice is going to be heard is going to be about direction on how things would go practically and this message though not given specific date or timeline is also seen or heard as a signal that the release is very close unlike others who sometimes just speak from an administrative angle uh, apostle can emphasize uh, the the divine side of the project and that god is backing it and that its conclusion is not in man's hands alone and um, this involvement shows that um, while there are human delays the spiritual covering uh, over this grant and the atmosphere remains very strong uh i'll be with you shortly after this time out don't go anywhere just a little break and we're back All right, uh, thank you very much and welcome back again to our reporting. And um, we, yes, we talked last about Apostle Ken on the, his mandate concerning the conclusion within days. And uh, this is if I, one of the most uh, uh, active expectations right now, one of the most recent voices in the Grand Ecosystem about the expectation of the disbursement. Then going further, we have the voice of uh, Lady Rich, uh, who has been more focused on some practical updates. Our emphasis has been on preparing people to remain so organized and uh, they ensure that uh, they are ready for disbursement. She has repeatedly pointed out that uh, disbursement would not be chaotic, but uh, it's going to be systematic. And those who are not prepared might delay themselves even when funds are released. She also insisted that um, this project is bigger than what a lot of people are assuming. And for that reason, it has taken this time because of preparations and logistics and what have you. And according to her, the handlers are also making sure that uh, the distribution and disbursement to all is fair, transparent, and also is going to be aligned with uh, the purpose of the grant. Then we have a voice like... Um, uh, Ambassador Zita Onwosu, who has also spoken on the matter in recent times, uh, bringing attention to the dimension of uh, international cause of, of the grant. From from our update, it was clear that the disbursement is tied not only to local coordinations, but also to the global monitoring of the system and she stressed that um, because this project touches a lot of lives and communities it must meet both uh, local regulations and international standards her role seems to be uh, in bridging communication and ensuring that uh, beneficiaries understand that the delay is not actually abandonment but a matter of proper clearance and credibilities and she has also been firm in telling the people not to give up hope uh, assuring assuring them that uh, the grant is structured to deliver a uh, real impact when it is released on the masses then uh, going to the pioneer uh, okay we also got wind concerning the uh, Reverend Elibo who has uh, repeatedly and I think in recent times assured the masses to be focused and also be dependent on uh, the delivery that is definitely purposeful and nothing is going to change it that people should just reason out things with their own 
wisdom and understanding knowing that uh, finishing touches have to be put to things and uh, there's nothing wrong with whatever is going on but we 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 know that based on the information given to us was that um, as soon as the imf lands in the country the four days ultimatum are supposed to pick up except somebody's deceiving somebody else now uh, at this point in time we it appears like the voices seems to be low the update that we receive from those uh, circles seems to be a little bit silent i don't know what they are preparing currently i don't know what they are preparing to say to us next but the fact remains that we are at this side of the divide and would always be here until that which we are in expectation of is going to be delivered if it is found later that somebody is playing some hanky panky game or playing some ludo and match with all of this be sure that these things will not go down uh, just like that being uh, swept under the carpet definitely you should know that uh, there will be a reprisal uh, response to this from the masses and it's going to really uh, not going to be uh, funny so I want to believe that uh, people uh, especially those at the echelon those uh, at the decision making policy part and organ should begin to uh, do what is needful and uh, clean up their houses all of the men that are spiritual are uh, supposedly called men of God that ought to act in compliance with the standards of God's own mandate. They should begin to clean house and do what is needful, ranging from uh, Pastor Donald Obasi Okori, especially when it comes to Pioneer, Pastor Donald Obasi Okori, Reverend Elibo, uh, Madam Ungozi Israel, uh, Lady Rich, and, and you know, uh, I think Ambassador Zita and Wosu, all of the, these are the real frontiers of the pioneer uh, disbursement. So um, information available suggests that uh, uh, pioneers have been identified and it has been uh, verified and it has been included in the disbursement organ. And this is to ensure that um, uh, everybody keeps calm and uh, they maintain uh, focus. Now, going forward, uh, the timeline for disbursement has not really been straightforward. And that has been the main source of frustration in this ecosystem. You know, different dates have been mentioned in the past, but uh, they often pass without some visible movement. And then based on the current state of things, the, the timeline, uh, we cannot really put it, we cannot hinge it on a particular time. All of them are coded. And the UAG is more coded. <laughs> you understand, it's more classified. But for Pioneer, it has always been, you know, back and forth, shifting of timelines and all that. So, but whatever the case is, the wind we got, it, it's clear that we are at the edge of uh, disbursement, which is going to unlock the general phase. And it was said that Pioneer was going to disburse the first. Let's hope for that and let's think on that all right so the current state of disbursement can be summed up uh that uh, funds are available but release is tied to uh when the process is uh completed you know and uh, leaders remain consistent in the assurance that the grant is real and uh, the pioneer uh once it begins it's going to open door for other disbursement circles and all that so the leads are not they are not lack of intention or lack of funds uh they are just normal internal uh checks and compliance stuff protocols and all that so beneficiaries are actually encouraged to remain patient and organized in their ways so that um, they can be ready when everything is called upon um finally uh, the disbursement project has stretched over a long time but it has not collapsed and it will not collapse. You know, Pastor Donald Obasi Okore has uh, reassured everyone of the reality of this project. Ngozi Israel has continued to defend the credibility of it at all levels. Then Apostle Ken has declared the spiritual certainty of the nearness to disbursement and the conclusion behind it then uh, lady rich has emphasized preparations also at all levels and ambassador zita Onwosu has constantly drawn the attention of the people to the compliance angles and at this point the focus is on pioneer disbursement 
and uh, UAAG, which is going to act as the doorway into full distribution of this grant. The timeline shows that the processes has actually gone through some preparations, some verifications, and is now uh, headed to the finalization stage. And uh, once the pioneers receive their share, the general uh, release also begins to follow. The stakeholders, I beg your pardon, the general <coughs> masses also begins to follow suit in subsequent uh, fashion. So the clear truth is that though the wait has been long and discouraging for many people, the process has not been abandoned. No, never. Beneficiaries should remain so patient and ready uh, because the system is being structured to ensure that when the funds finally uh, arrives, uh, then they, they will make a real impact without it being wasted on anyone. So on a final note, the long way does not mean failure. No. The delay is a shield against uh, mistakes and a way of ensuring that uh, once disbursement begins, it will not stop halfway. The stage we are in right now is, I, I think, is the final clearance and before the movement. So beneficiaries should keep hope alive because the process is already nearing its uh, opening phase and uh, the project is alive and active. Funds are available, not imaginary. Uh, the system is being carefully guarded against uh, abuse, against fraud, against uh, premature release. And uh, the true next step is um, that both Pioneer and the UAAG are set to deliver. Uh, after which the larger release is to uh, all the expectant beneficiaries begin to trickle in. So that is the information we have for us this morning, just to browse our understanding on the current event and the state of things right about now. Until we come your way again, uh, shortly after, we're going to pick on some of the questions that have been thrown at us on some of the people that have been in expectation, you know, for a lot of people are expecting this fund to be released, but uh, some wants to know ahead of time what how they can handle this uh, a lot of projects that they are looking at you know like the water system you know like the brewery like the distribution system like the fishery you know pigri and rest of them like that so we're using this moment to attend to all of those concerns and if you are also one of such within here and uh, you want to do one or two things you know and you don't know how to go about it just put it up to us we're going to make it up to you and uh, we'll go together God bless you. Don't forget, I want to announce again, I'm not in possession of uh, Reverend Elibo's contact. So for those who have been asking repeatedly, I've said it before that uh, I'm not in custody of it. All right. So uh, please, in case you are still asking that question, we don't have it at hand. Thank you very much. We love you and always for the masses and have a nice day. <laughs>